Hello and welcome to Politics Today. I am DJ Barimasi and wherever you're watching us from, we just want to tell you that Kogi State has a new governor-elect and that person is Captain Idris Wada of uh, the PDP. He's been declared the winner of uh, the election, which the governorship election, I should say, which took place yesterday. The election, of course, um, you know, mixed reaction, you would want to say. Turnout, not so impressive at all. You know, not all the registered voters came out to vote. Of course, you would expect that. But in the long run, after all the process, you know, accreditation problem, accreditation not starting on time in some places, um, after all of that, all the problems and all the stress the people of Kogi State had to go through yesterday, today they have the results of the election. And today they now know they have a governor-elect who will be sworn in very, very soon. I do not know exactly when he will be sworn in, but I, I, I want to think it wouldn't be up to two weeks at all. So Captain Idris Wada is the governor-elect of Kogi State. He pulled 300 and... Um, that's 300,372 votes. Uh, let's just take you back now to when the result was actually announced. We're going now to um, the returning officer. We're going to take a look at that to see how uh, Captain Idris Wada was announced as the winner of the election. Take a look. I, Professor Shams Dean, Onilopu Onche Amali. OFR hereby certify that I was a returning officer for the Kogi State Governorship election held on the third day of December 2011 that the candidates received the following votes. Fred J.P. Friday, Odia, Accord Pass, 11.02. Accord Party, 11.02. Abu Bakr Audu ACN one five nine nine one three Abu Bakr Audu one five nine nine one three Obolo Itodo of Manachi ANPP Nine six four two nine six four two Yusuf Ame Obadia Afka three three one Afka three three one Ochoi Enedjo James CPC five seven two four CPC five seven two four Bola Esther Awe CPP Three seven nine CPP three seven nine Ibrahim Tanko Label two one six Label two one six Ah Astimisi Onimisi Adiba PPA one one three zero one one three zero PPA 
Ojatata Ojatata Gideon Enema Ojatata Gideon Enema PPN two five three Lawa Itopa Lamidi SDMP four five two SDMP four five two Abu Bakar Aliu Bala UNPP one nine eight UNPP one nine eight that Idris Ichala Wada of PDP having satisfied the requirements of the law and scored the highest number of votes is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. Sign the returning officer, Professor Shabzin Ohino Kwanche Amali. This fourth day of December 2011. Well, there you have the results as announced by the returning officer there, Professor Amali. And let me just say this, that, um, well, Captain Idris Wada would actually be sworn in on the 5th of April 2012. So we're going to have a very long transition process, about four months as a matter of fact. So he'll be sworn in on the 5th of April 2012. So 5th of April, one Idris will be leaving Government House Lokoja and another Idris will be coming in but then let's just say this that the result has not gone down well at all with some political parties especially the action congress of nigeria which fielded the former governor of the state abubakar audu now the action congress actually pulled um, 159,913 votes and so the party is crying wolf as a matter of fact the spokesperson of the party says the election was fraudulent and that they are not going to accept the result take a listen to him I want to start by saying unequivocally that the ACN in Kogi states rejects totally the manipulated results of the gubernatorial elections in Kogi state 2011. It is pathetic, painful, and disheartening that the PDP in Kogi State have graduated from the use of violence, from the use of the military, from the use of the police. They've graduated from the use of these very violent methods now to scientific methods of rigging. The results as released by INEC, they are fallacious malicious, fabricated, totally untrue, and do not represent in any manner the wishes and aspirations of voters as expressed yesterday. I also want to bring to the notice of Nigerians through the press that policemen and women were withdrawn from all polling units, or most 80% polling units in Kogi State yesterday. For example, where I voted, there was no policeman at all. And it is the same 
for most of the polling units in the state. This was deliberate to facilitate the electoral fraud as manifested by the result released this afternoon. For example, Olama Borough, where we won the election, seven units were cancelled because those seven units were won by the ACN. That is just a typical example of what transpired across the states. I am from Aito Rubede Ward 1, the same community where the Director General of the PDP campaign um, organization comes from, Prince Olushola Akomode. To the glory of God, I defeated him in his polling units, defeated him in his ward, and the same, around the same community, that is he's from Aito Ward 2, he lost his polling unit that is in front of his father's house. And he lost his um, ward. General David Medaishi Jemi Benwan also lost his polling unit and lost his ward. And this is just to give an example of these PDP big wins that are supposed to have delivered the local government. And if all these big wins lost their units and lost their wards, how did they eventually now deliver the local government? You find out that it is shameful, it is disgraceful, that when we are supposed to be advancing from this very analog, fraudulent way of um, polythinking and exercising electoral um, rights, the PDP have shown and displayed to Nigerians that rigging is endemic in them. They are indoctrinated and imbibed with these negative rudiments and want to see the ACA finally reject in its totality the results as the result does not reflect what the voters exercised yesterday. It does not, I mean, it does not in any manner reflect the wishes and aspiration of Kugats. And I want to say, we will not just stop at that, we will do everything legitimate to make sure that this stolen mandate is restored.